I S U P K. Black people and Hispanic and Native American Indians. Who are the people of the Bible? I understand that. Guess what? I understand that. But guess what? Here's the thing. I understand, Mr. East Indian. I understand you not talking about black people. I understand that. I understand that. I understand that you not talking about black people. But, but we are talking about black people. That's right. Yeah, but understand, understand what I'm saying. Listen, you see, you don't want to hear nothing about black people. You only want to hear about East Indian people. That is racist. That is, you are racist. I am talking about black victims, Hispanic victims, and Native Indian victims. You just came up here and said, I don't want to talk about black people. I want to talk about East Indians. That's what you said. You are racist. There are victims in this earth that have never received justice, that have been killed and murdered and raped because of their race. How dare you come and tell me, stop talking about black people and talk about East Indians. And let me tell you something about you East Indians. In America, everybody look at you like you so damn docile and you harmless. I'm from the Caribbean. And I, my, my forefathers were slaves in, in the Caribbean islands. And cut sugar cane until the British Empire brought East Indians to the Caribbean in 1845. Yes, under contracts, they were called indentured laborers. And you know what those East Indians are today? the oppressors of black people in the West Indian Islands. You sit over the top of us and you oppress us, you crack our skulls, you lock us up, you rape our women, you push crack cocaine in our neighborhoods, you bring all the guns in the Caribbean and you walk yes, around like if you're so God. pious and you're so innocent and you're so docile. That's why God brought a heat wave to India to kill you disgusting bastards. Because you are, you are real racist. You don't care about anybody unless it's your own. You don't care about anybody unless it's your own. Go ahead. All I want to say uh -huh. is that they That's really right. They ruled 200 it. years in India. All and I they destroyed that India. They really the British people destroyed All India. And the British really white man, that. he's a racist. Right or wrong? He, he oppressed India. He oppressed India. Was was Britain right for oppressing India or wrong? Was Britain right or wrong? Was Britain right or wrong? I'm just asking you a simple question. Was the British right or wrong when they oppressed India? They was not right. Go ahead, go ahead, let me hear your question. 
Is the Bible has a racist system? Yes, they do. The, the, yes, they the, do. The, the Bible, let me tell you what the Bible is. Is, is the Bible and Gita racist? I'm asking you. You're not going to answer that. I'm not going to answer that. I'm not going to answer that. Is the Bible and Gita racist? Okay, what do you believe? What do you believe in? Sikhism. Sikhism. What is the book of the Sikhs? Same like the Bible? Or the Bible? No, what is the name of your book? What is the, are you not understanding me? You're trying to dictate this. You're not going to dictate me. I'm trying to understand where you're coming from. What is the name of the Sikh book? What is the name of the Sikh book? Guru Grand Sai. Guru Is the Guru Grand Sai racist? But it's for the Sikhs. This book is for blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians. We're not racist, but this is our book. This is our book. No, I'm not talking about racism. I'm not talking about racism. You see, this is your problem. You have no problem talking about how the British ruled East India and oppressed the Indians. Because they're your people. But when I talk about my people, it's racism. But when the white man came over here and murdered native Indians, who are my people, that wasn't racist. When the white man separating kids from the, from the Hispanic parents on the borders, that ain't racist. That's right. When black people are being lynched and hung and murdered in prisons, is that racist? That is racist. And the problem is, the victims of that racism do not have a voice. And in America, we are not allowed to have a voice. Imagine you. A, a East Indian, a descendant of the people who the British oppressed, you have a problem with me talking about the oppression of my people. You are filthy vagabond. You are disgusting. Is the Sikhism tell you about justice? The Sikhism teach justice? Does it teach ju righteous judgment? What does the Sikh say about slavery? What does the what does the Sikh what does the Sikh Bible say about slavery? What does the Sikh Bible say about separating children on the border? Huh? Huh? What does it say? It says what? That you have to stand up? Stand up? So you are for slavery or you are against it? Are you for slavery or against it? You are against slavery. Well, I am against slavery too. So what's your goddamn problem? So what's your goddamn problem? I'm against slavery too. Slavery is racist. What's your goddamn problem? You can't even walk straight. You're drunk. You're drunk. That's why I'm now seeing it. You're drunk. What does the Sikh Bible say about being drunk? Huh? I asked him question. Why you became Muslim? You because you ain't gonna tell. You ain't gonna tell. You ain't gonna tell nobody who gonna talk. You ain't. I know you're seeing niggas and spicks back here, but we ain't your slave. We belong to Christ, and you ain't gonna tell. You you can ask him. I am going to answer. Yeah, I'm going to answer. Put that in your sick pipe and smoke it. I am going to answer. I don't give a damn. You are not going to tell me when I can and cannot talk. What the hell is wrong with you? You think we in Calcutta? You think you can tell me when I can open my goddamn mouth? If you simple, give me Isaiah 58 and 1. And this is the proof. All you people who loved all them heathens and Dunkin' Donuts and your gas stations and all they so pious. And what would you like today? How can I help you? What do you like in your coffee? This is who you, you are paying. This is who you try to be. No, you can't speak to me no more. I don't want to talk to you no more. I don't want to talk to me you no more. You are goddamn racist. You hate black people. You hate Hispanics. And you hate Native Indians. You are goddamn racist. I ain't talking to you no more. Give me Isaiah 58 and 1. Isaiah chapter 58 verse 1. Cry aloud. Spare not. Say it again. Cry aloud. Spare not. Cry aloud and what? Spare not. Go ahead and save him. Save him. Help him out. Help him out. Save him. Say, you see who come to save him? You see who come to save him? You see who come to save him? I hear what he said. But, but what, what, what struck me? I'm not surprised by his behavior. He is a filthy heathen that's benefited on the backs of black people. On the backs of black people. Off of our civil rights, you got Chinatown. Off of our civil rights, the East Indians got all the gas stations and all the Dunkin' Donuts. 
you come over here as a minority and you benefit off of our struggle. I ain't surprised by his behavior. But those two brothers who came up here to save him, I'm surprised by them. In this day and age, you would come up against black men who stand in for black people? You sick in your head. Right. And if, if you ain't racist, Mr. Sikh man, what are you doing to help black people? Huh? Huh? I'm gonna come to you. Give me one second. Read. Cry aloud. Right. And you got a problem with the Hispanics. This brother here is a, a pure blooded Taino Indian. You got a problem with him? You and his goddamn land. Read. Cry aloud, uh -huh. fear not, uh -huh. lift up thy voice like a trumpet. This is what our Bible said to do. Cry aloud, spear not, and lift up the voice like a trumpet. That's right. You ought to come out, we got to come out here and correct black people. And not correct you in, in, in a sense of pride. But black people as a people as a whole, we are lost in America. We are lost in the current of America's culture. And America's culture is destroying blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. And we got to be coming out here to help you stand against that culture. You are a different people than this white man. Right. You are different people than George Bush and, and Donald Trump and Bill Clinton. You're different from them. And they know we're different from them. The problem is we don't know we're different. That's, right. That's why we out here. That sheep know we're different though. Go, go buy coffee in his Dunkin' Donuts and be five cents short. You know what he'll say? Sorry, I cannot help you. No caffeine today. <laughs> Right. That's what he'll say. Go ahead. All right, so, uh, my What's your name? name? I'm uh, Austin Duper. Yeah. Austin Duper. Uh, nice teach, to meet you, Austin. Thank you. Yeah, I teach at Cornerstone Christian School, right across uh, Cotton Air and across the area. Mm -hmm. um, we got What's the name of school? Cornerstone Christian School. Cornerstone so Christian we, School. We, we teach a lot of, uh, it's predominantly a lot, a lot of black people. You can, you can speak freely uh, in this in this forum. A lot of you try to be politically correct. I know you're in DC. We teach a lot of... You never know these days. Yeah, you never know. You never know. <laughs> so, we teach a lot of niggas. <laughs> Go ahead. My question for you guys is, based on your teachings, how do you? How would you get to heaven? Based on, if you were to stand before God and he says, why should I let you in, what would you say to him? Okay, I understand. I